I would go ahead and show you the products and give you my thoughts in the order of how I've actually have been using the products and I've been using everything shown for about close to a month. So first I want to go over the Hard Candy Glamifage Mix-In Drops. This is the Turn Me Matte. I know it says to shake well but the problem that I have is just the overall appearance when I opened them up. For example, the Turn Me Matte, it looks very, it looks very goopy. That's really the only description I can give it. It looks messy. Just the way this is designed, and I know it's called a drop, so they're trying to go by the dropper, but the texture of this mat is so thick, it's difficult to get it into the dropper and actually try to make an actual drop. So you can mix it in with your foundation. It's just not Personally, I don't feel it's designed for that. So I think a tube style or a pump style would have been best for this particular item. Now with the Turn Me Mat, the texture of the Turn Me Mat, it's like a hybrid. It has that slick feel to it, but it also has that, what I would consider that poor uh, type of product where you would actually press it into your skin. It kind of reminds me of that. Matte Mix-In Drops, it's marketed as you can add the drops to your foundation, you can add it to even a moisturizer, a BB cream, any type of a liquid substance that you want to turn from a dewy, a glow appearance and bring it down to matte. So that's really what it's marketed as. I pulled out my drugstore foundation that is to me the dewiest one I have and that's the L'Oreal Pro Glow. And I've been adding the mix-in drops to that. Now what I do is I actually take some off from the dropper or I'll try and like shake it out of the container. And then I just mix it in with my spatula with the Pro Glow. As you can see in the picture, here's the first picture of what the Pro Glow looked like. You know, it's very liquidy foundation and then it does 
turn it into more of that matte texture. It actually mimics, I kid you not, it mimics the pearl matte as well. And then the other way that I've been using is just a straight up primer on my face. Again, because it has that same texture to me as if I'm applying like Benefit Professional, for example, I just press and smooth it into my skin and then that's just my primer. So I've been using it as my face primer. And then I go ahead and just put on my foundations and everything else. Now, next I want to talk about the Glamophage Mix-In Drops, the actual radiant one. This is where you are going to add a drop or drops, it says, to transform for a luminous finish. This is another one where, same thing, you kind of shake it up. Okay, now no matter how much you shake it up or no matter how much I've been shaking it up, I still have to use my spatula to stir it inside because the, the mixture doesn't fully look like a traditional, you know, when you mix something together, the liquid, everything inside is, is mixing together. So when I open it up, I expect to see everything mixed together. But with these drops, what's happening is Let's see if I can kind of move it back towards me. The dropper portion up here is clear. The actual product itself is right here at the bottom of the dropper. So it's just collecting down there. And then actually inside, let me just kind of scrape that off. Inside, I still see it. It definitely looks watery inside. And then it, to me, it just looks like it still needs to be shaken. In the demonstration, I'm first showing the actual shade on my cheekbones because you can use it as like a liquid highlighter if you'd like to go ahead and do that and to show how it shows on my skin. Blended out, it actually looks great. It doesn't look ashy. On me, it doesn't look ashy and that's the first thing I thought of is the shade is not, it's not going to work but it does. So it does kind of, it, it does warm up on my skin tone. Another way to use the drops is of course with your foundation, with your moisturizer. There's tons of products like that on the market. So if you are somebody that likes to add that, like the strobing lotion, you like to add the radiance to your foundation, then this is something that is going to be geared for that step. Now I'm going to move into the actual foundation drops and I'm gonna do that instead of going into the bronzer drops because it's a bronzer product and it's supposed to be meant to put you put on after your foundation. So I'm gonna to get to it next. From the actual deep category, these are the three shades. There's a deep one, a deep two, and a deep three. Based on my skin tone and my undertone, deep three is the one that's going to work out the best for me. With this mix-in pigment drop, this is one that you, you shake up, and it's not one that I felt that I needed to stir because just shaking alone was enough to mix the pigment together. I do feel that the overall packaging of this and just how much of it is kind of collecting on the actual dropper, when I go back in to close it, I can't. Uh, you're probably going to be think, thinking, she's so darn picky, but you know, this is just little things that I will catch and I just want you to be aware of it. Just depends on if, if the dropper's kind of hitting a little bit more towards the outer edge. My point is when you put the dropper in, try to keep it in the middle so that way it actually goes down and you're not having half the liquid spill out on the bottom. That's what makes this dropper so messy because several times I've had to actually clean this off on the side because it's it's not, it needs to be, the, the bottle itself needs to be designed better with something inside. So when you put it back in, it kind of like does a suction and that's what I would do if I was, if I was changing the bottle. It's not a complete 100% shade on me. It's still slightly off. It runs a bit neutral. And I show that to you in the clip because I want you to actually see the actual pigment in itself. So in this clip, I'm showing you how it looks on just one side of my face. You can get an overall look of what the actual pigment looks like, but it's still slightly off. I could, it could stand to be a little bit warmer is what I'm trying to say. When it comes to these pigment mixing drops, anything that's new coming in, 
and I'm looking at it and I'm reviewing it and seeing how it's working out, I do compare them to the Cover FX Drops. That's the one that is at the top for me. It's the one that works perfectly on my skin. It's the one where I actually can actually just scrape some moisturizer out, mix in one to two drops of the uh, cover FX with the spatula and put it on my face. And I mean, it looks like foundation. So right off the bat, I noticed that the texture is different. So if you're comparing it to the Cover FX drops, the custom, the custom drops from Cover FX is a little bit thicker. This is a little bit thinner. So definitely a little bit more runnier than the other brand that I've been using. Second would be the pigment. I do not feel that the pigment is as strong within the hard candy version as it is with the Cover Up X. Unfortunately with these, how I've been using them, they just haven't been. Now because the color of this is still slightly off, I have to also be kind of careful with how I'm mixing this shade in with my other foundations. So I was trying to, when, you know, when I first got it, I was trying it with other foundation colors that were a little bit darker or maybe a little bit lighter, you know, just slightly off, just trying to see would this adjust it and kind of get it to a, a good match for my skin. And it was still making it look, on my skin, it looked quite neutral. So based on the color choices, what I'm just going to do is I am going to be matching these up on family members and see how these work on their skin and with their current foundation choices. And maybe one of them would like one of these to use in their collection. And then the last dropper to talk about is the mix and drops of Turn Me Bronze. This is where you again add the drops to transform for an instant glow. Now on the back it states that it's a universal liquid bronzer that can be added to your moisturizer or your foundation. You're going to see that within in the trend with these droppers for an all over healthy looking glow. The sheer and lightweight formula can also be used alone to contour or to add color to your cheeks. Now that last sentence is what got me interested. So of course I'm like, I'm gonna try that out. So this is another one where I shook it up and I had my spatula ready. And it's another one where the dropper is a little bit more clearer towards the top. The product is collecting on the bottom and it's going to be another one where you're not going to get that full drop out. It states contour to, you know, carve out how we would use our regular contour products. Now I use matte products for that. And this is way too shimmery to be trying to carve out cheekbones, carve out the nose, jawline, all that. Next it states that you can put it on your cheeks for that glow. Now I do show applying it to the cheekbones. I first used a synthetic brush, but the brush was a little bit too small. I probably used a lot more liquid than I needed to. So then I pulled in a stippling brush and I liked how a stippling brush dispersed the liquid and kind of spread out on my cheeks. So I would prefer to use a stippling brush for this particular product to actually apply it to the cheeks. This is again going to be then a personal choice for you. I personally do not use overly shimmery bronzers for the cheeks. You know, let's say you're doing the three. I, I don't use shimmer bronzers for that. That's just way too much just shimmering all over the face. And frankly, I don't feel that it looks natural. Natural in the sense of does it look realistic? Here's where I'm gonna get really anal. Looking up close, in a magnifying mirror, the, the, the glitter that is in here is quite chunky. It's a bigger glitter particle. It's not small like in here. Like this, the radiance drops give you that subtle glow and I don't see glitter chunks in here at all. And I mean, I was looking in the mirror, like show me, show me some glitter. I didn't see it in the radiance, but I clearly saw it in the bronzer. On the cheeks alone, when I'm, you know, kind of buffing it out with the stippling brush and I'm looking in the magnifying mirror, it is chunks of glitter and then it's kind of just clear. 
like I can see the a dark warm brown of the liquid and then it's more chunks up here. I think the best analogy would be like eating a chocolate chip cookie. You know, you bite into a chocolate chip cookie and you want kind of equal parts of chocolate chips so that each bite has a darn piece of chocolate in it. That's like the best analogy I can think of. That's what I want this to be. I want it to be you know, kind of equal parts of shimmer on my cheekbones. I don't want to see splotches and then bare and then splotches. But I also don't want to see big chunks, like the chunk particle itself cut so big. And, and no, I don't want to see that. Then last, we have the setting sprays. Now, I have three of them. They're all from the Sheer Envy. I have all three of them. I have the Sheer Envy Luminous Setting Spray. They all say 12 hour long wear and hydration. Now the luminous one is to enhance radiance for dewy glow. And then I have the Brightening Setting Spray. Helps balance tone and brighten. That's in the pink bottle. And then in the blue is the Mattifying Setting Spray for pore size and oil control. Now, the mattifying one is the one that I have been using primarily, I've been using primarily the most, and it reminds me so much of the one I already have, the Fast and Fabulous Setting Makeup Spray. This is the one that smells like cucumber. It's been performing in the same manner as this. I like this one. I do like the mattifying one. You can also use this one, I feel, if you even have dry skin, because I have normal skin. I don't see how this is going to make anything too dry on your skin or dry looking. Now, the second one is the uh, Luminous Setting Spray, and I have a little sticker up here to remind myself not to touch it. <laughs> I actually have not use this one. I've only used it for the product shots and then my arm, everything was itching for the rest of the day because it's got coconut in it. This spray has a, like a coconut substance and coconut water way up at the top of the ingredient list. I also inserted that clip though for that particular setting spray because I noticed on my hand, I noticed that it had like this glow to it. I could clearly see as I was moving my hand in the product shot. So I was trying to capture that on the camera and then I shone some light on it. I really do hope that you can see it, but that one does have, clearly have, has that brightening, that glow look. So if that is the case, that is something that I would suggest you go, you don't go ham on that just spraying all the town and, and using up half the bottle. I would suggest going maybe, you know, spritz it two times, fan it, let it dry, just kind of work it up because you want that intense effect on your face. You don't want it to be like, boom, a lot of glow all at once. So just a little tip there. And then the last one is the brightening setting spray. And this says, again, to help balance, tone, and brighten. Now using this one, it to me, it felt like it was very much like the mattifying setting spray. On my skin, on my skin tone, I, I don't see a, a noticeable difference on my face. So certainly not as noticeable as it was on my palm with the one with coconut water. So what I've been doing with the brightening one and these two, they don't have coconut water in it. So I actually, again, I, I can use these two. So how I've been using the brightening spray, very similar to how I've been using the radiant drop-in mixers is I have, I always, you know, pump my foundation onto a plate or to a, a mixing plate. So what I've been doing is actually just spraying, spraying the brightening one right onto the foundation. So as I'm stirring and mixing, I'm spraying it. So if it's giving any type of brightening effect, it's going to be, I feel very subtle, but the actual staying power of the setting spray is also going to be in the foundation. So it's helping kind of with, with that coverage as well, kind of helping it adhere more to my skin. So to and hard candy, has been very generous and they want to give you guys a whole set of the setting sprays. So you're going to get all three of the setting sprays and in the info box, they have a link. So you just click on it and it does its little thing and 
whoever wins, wins. So those are my thoughts and my opinions on all of Hard Candies Summer 2017, the setting sprays, the Turn Me Matte, Turn Me Bronze, the Radiance Drops, and of course, all of the Foundation Mix-In Drops. Thank you very much again for watching, and I appreciate the support. Please remember to like and subscribe on your way out. Don't forget to enter the Hard Candy Contest, and I hope you all have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Two more Hard Candy videos are coming up. One for lips, one for eyes. So stay tuned. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.